Living in the scenic New England region of New South Wales and spending your days working on a charming little farm, it's easy to think Karina Nets is living the ideal country life. But the life of a goat farmer involves hard work, long days from dusk until dawn. Wake up at six in the morning and I just go uh, straight out to the goats and I bring them in for milking. Uh, we have a milking machine now after hand milking for almost 10 years and then we move them back out to the paddocks and we go around and we feed all the, all the other goats. So we've got um, an next generation of goats that are coming through. We go and feed those, our kids and our bucks as well. The mother of three has established her own goat stud enterprise at Urala, which produces specialty skincare products and cheese made from goat's milk. At the end of the day, the kids come home from school and then everything gets put away and, and we start the milking routine again for the evening. It is long days and you don't get a holiday and it is seven days a week. The skincare business began following an online goat forum. We shared recipes, whether they were cheese, whether they were goat's meat, um, soap recipes, and then um, a lady shared a very basic moisturiser recipe. That's where it started and I thought, this is great, I've got the excess milk, um, I have really dry skin, I've never found a moisturiser that works for me, and here, here on my lovely little Aussie goat forum, there's a little a basic recipe for me to get started with. So that's how I started two years ago. Today, her products are sold locally and to international customers online. Any markets or expos or sustainability sort of things in town, then she is always there. Um, and so people in the community really know Corinne and, um, and she's known as the goat lady, or, you know, so she's, she's really loved in the community. I think that um, Corinne has been really innovative in developing her skincare range and um, just being a woman out there developing a business um, on her own is just a, a truly amazing feat. Corinne has big plans to expand her business, especially in cheese making. I gave it to friends and family and, and we enjoyed eating it ourselves and then I guess it's, it's now to a stage where I would really like to make it commercial and, and let everyone else get to enjoy our cheese as well. So that's, that's how the cheese making has started and of course now we're, we're expanding the businesses going into its own quarters, it'll have a new kitchen, it'll have a new dairy and the commercial operation can start, start moving along. And also we've got all the wine, wineries in this region which are really crying out for the cheese. If successful in being named the New South Wales Riddick Rural Women's Award winner, Kareen will complete more courses in small business and learn from other successful operations in New Zealand. In the meantime, she has some words of encouragement for other rural women. Ten years ago I had the dream that we would one day do something with our dairy goats. Now it's happening. I think it's just you need to follow through and it is hard work. But as long as you have that dream and the passion, you can make it happen. And you'll be surprised how many people there are that will support that dream. And that's what I've found. And rural women support each other really well. So we're all out there and we're all giving each other a good pat on the back. And, and the more you uh, strive towards your dreams, it will happen.